Ten Little Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr. and illustrated by Lois Eller. Ten Little Caterpillars One little caterpillar crawled into a bower. A bower is a shady place in a garden. The second little caterpillar wriggled up a flower. Do you see it? The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. The fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. Hmm, I wonder if you know what kind of an animal a wren is couple animals on this page. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. Can you see the tenth one? It's kind of camouflaged as well. And hung there patiently. Now, you might not see the caterpillar anymore because the caterpillar is in a chrysalis right here. Do you know what happens to a caterpillar when it goes into a chrysalis? Until by and by, the 10th little caterpillar, do you see peeking out? Became a butterfly. One of the things I love about this book is that in the back, it shows you all the different caterpillars and the butterflies or the moths that they become after they go into their chrysalis or their cocoon. So this one is the morning cloak caterpillar and becomes this beautiful butterfly. And this is the buckeye and it becomes this butterfly. And this one is the cabbage looper. I love that name. And it becomes this moth. This is the yellow bear and it becomes this moth. And this is the yellow necked becomes this moth. And this, I bet some of you will know, is the monarch that becomes this big butterfly. And I bet some of you have even hatched these before. They're painted ladies that become this butterfly. And this is the woolly bear that becomes this moth. And this is the common wood nymph that becomes this butterfly. Last one is the tiger swallowtail, which becomes this beautiful butterfly.